School is supposed to be a safe place for everyone, but unfortunately for too many of us, that is not the case. Hi, I'm Jamie from Dear Laura, and in this movie we see the repercussions of high school bullying and how even when people reach out for help, schools don't necessarily do all that they can to help stop the bullying. Hey, I'm Tyson Jarvis, just want to share my experience about bullying with you. Um, I was always overweight growing up, um, 100 plus kilos, and yeah, that was a major cause of me getting bullied. I currently weigh uh, low 80 kilos now, and I don't know where the bullies are anymore. So, um, how it made me feel, I felt sad, um, felt to the point where I hated myself, and I thought the only way to win was to get in shape, and it worked. I'm not saying that's for everybody, but that worked for me. Um, yeah, probably the other sort of you know, little bits and pieces of getting bullied was I said I wanted to be an actor, people laughed, and then people see me on the NXS um, TV show, and then people wanted to congratulate me. So um, I guess in my experience was to shut the haters up, was to be successful um, in achieving what you're set out to do. Um, anyway, that's me. Cheers. I'm out. And, and you know, like it's what you you all said. Um, you can you can choose you can choose in life to uh, be a vegetarian, vegan. You can choose also to be a good human being, caring for animals. You can also choose to seek help if you know that you're someone who's bullying people so everything's a choice to to help yourself be a better person and treat the world around you better you're never going to change the whole world but if everyone had their little bit that they transformed then that little bit is a domino effect eventually you know yeah. um now hey jerry so one a question when you're working with the boys um is that boys and girls or is it just a boys club it's, it, it's the boys club and and uh and i've been doing something in delta which is another organization from the boys club and when they saw what i did with the boys they said will you do something with the girls and i went yes so we and with my wife amy she wants to be involved with the girls so we're going to start something with the girls so it's yeah right now it's just boys but yeah. yeah, we're going to start something with the girls as well. Yeah. What, what, what do you do, Jerry? What is, what is, can you explain what the program yeah, it, is? Yeah, it's the East End Boys Club, which was created by Jimmy Crescenzo, who was a drama teacher at the at Templeton School. He's been in working with kids for about 37 years. He started the East End Boys Club probably about 20 years ago. He was with the Vancouver Boys Club, then started the East End Boys Club. And what they do is they work with young men that are at risk, that, are, that have issues, that have, you know, things going on. And, and trying to get them to make the right choices to become the best version of themselves and become pillars of their community and really try to give back. And that's what we do. We bring in speakers and mentors, men and women mentors. We, uh, uh, the last guy, or actually the two weeks ago, we had uh, Francesco Aquilini, who is the uh, owner of the Canucks. We had him come in and talk to the boys Oh my God, it was it was so inspiring. So we have people come in, mentors that come in and share their stories, share their struggles, their you know their situations they've been through. So you know the kids can you know they can take away. Wow, I you know I okay I, I connect with that or I connect with this. We I mean we've got actors, we got um, you know entrepreneurs, business owners, and. I mean, we've got all walks of life from millionaires, billionaires that come in and they talk to the boys. We just we um, we did a film camp and we had Frank Justra, Andy. I don't know if you know Frank Justra. Frank Justra, he created Lionsgate Films. Yeah, he, wow. Yeah, he came he, he came in and uh, he's one of the top donors of the Boys Club. He came in and uh, and and I was directing uh, one of the one of the little short films that we did. And, and, uh, and I was like, okay, Frank, before he left, I said, Frank, would you mind doing a little cameo? And I said, you can do, here's what you're going to do. You're going to do this, do that. You're going to say your lines and stuff. And I'm like, ah, I just directed Frank Justra. <laughs> One of the highlights of my life. That uh -huh. super amazing, man. But yeah, we, we, you know, we do a lot of stuff to try to help these young men to become pillars of the community and become role models in life. You know, yeah, it's mm, really cool. That's amazing. It's a great organization. Yeah. yeah. I think I think Jerry, like everyone 
should do what you're doing on some level. It doesn't have to be as big as you're doing. Yeah, right? yeah. Andrew, you do it. Yeah. Uh, 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 Doug, you do it. Yes. You know, just, just give back. Like, I know people just don't, it's all about themselves and they're kind of miserable. Yeah. And, and they kind of deserve it. Because yeah. if you give out of yourself, you know, there's no excuse. If you don't have money, that's okay. You don't have, you don't have to have money. You yeah. Know, yeah. You, you can give of yourself somehow. In some plant way. to see, plant to see, plant to see, smoke I, someone, it, open the door for someone, it, advice. It's funny know. you just said that, Jerry, about planting a seed. Um, uh, my friend, uh, I was looking at her Instagram today and she had this little post and I actually, I just cracked up laughing. It was the best post. I'll send it to you. It goes, they tried to bury us, but they didn't know we were seeds. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Is that cool or what? That's if you good. took it yourself as a seed, no one can bury you, you know, because yeah, you're going to grow. Never underestimate the power of planting a seed. And, and it doesn't, and it's, let me tell you, one time I was at the Chase Bank and I just opened the door for someone. I, think, I can't remember who it was. I think it was a woman. And she looked at me as if, and she's like, no one's ever done that for me before. Thank you. Oh just my God. Day. Like that doesn't cost money. That just, that's five seconds. Away. Or you let someone go in traffic, you know? Yeah. Or, yeah. Just, that's you, it. Or say hello to someone. You never know. You may change their day just by saying hello. Exactly. Yeah. That's okay. I mean, I'm not, I'm Especially not the cashier, mate. The cashier at, at Ralph's yeah. or Trader yeah. Joe's. Because those, I couldn't do that job. There's no way in the world. But you go to them and you just say, hey, see their name. Hey, Julie, how you going? Hey, Pete. Hey, I really appreciate what you're doing because I couldn't do it. And thank you for being there for me, you know, or us. And it really does put a sparkle in their face. Really does. And, and, when, and when you go to the like the Whole Foods, if you go to Whole, you, you go to these uh, these uh, uh, grocery stores where they've got, you can see a, a tra or clerk in training. And you'll see the person that's training them, that's watching them. Every time you go through, go, you're doing an amazing job. Keep up the good work. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. It's just, it's, yeah, there's so many ways to do it. It's paying it forward. If every single person on this planet would think of someone else besides themselves and pay it forward, oh my God. Oh my God. This is, yeah, yeah. That I mean, happened I mean, to me at the coffee shop this morning. Sorry to interrupt, Steve. I'll okay. let you go in a sec. Okay. But that happened to me at the coffee shop this morning when I went biking. Uh, I encountered a police officer there. And Obviously, we all know that there's a lot of people in this world that are mad at the police because of circumstances. But I but I went up to the officer and was like, I thank you for the work you do in protecting society because I know I can't do it. I didn't say that part, but I but you get the picture. I was like, yeah. thank you for what you do for society. And believe me, he had a twinkle in his eye obviously and you know what thank you doug for planting that seed boom yeah, yeah. Boom. that just it just yeah just yeah, and it uh, and it really doesn't take much effort it's same as it doesn't take much effort to i know this sounds a bit funny maybe but they say if you can't look after animals and keep plants alive then you need to have a look at yourself <laughs> you know like if you every plant you get dies there's something you're not doing you're not caring for it but if you can have a healthy plants or a healthy garden and you look after your pets then there's a great amount of compassion and caring for others in your in your psychic you know so yeah. um i i purposely went out and bought a whole bunch of indoor plants and that because i'm not a great gardener and i thought my job is to to keep this plant alive and i make sure i water it when i was told to water it and you know with my dog when i had him um just before you leave the house, just a little cuddle and a pat to let them know you love them. It's the same with human beings. Hi, how are you going? Or get out of someone's way. It doesn't take any effort at all, very little effort. Um, and I'm sure, you know, Jerry, that you see with your kids, I'm sure that domino effects when they start to get being a better human being, they will treat not only people but animals better as well. I'm sure. Yep, yep. We're all sentient beings. Yeah, and and, and every time I talk to these boys, I'll, you know, we'll, we'll talk about certain things, and I'm like, "Have you paid it forward lately? When's the last time you paid it forward, bro?" And he's like, "Uh," and I said, "Come on, man, pay it forward." So I'll see him the next time, and they'll go, hey, "Jerry, yeah, man, I paid it forward. I I helped my little brother when he needed help, and I, I don't usually use to do that." And I'm like, "Yes, right. yeah, yeah, yes." It's the time to get them, Jerry. When they're young, they they remember this. This stays. 
whatever happens in life, this is going to stay with them. Impressionable. Yeah. Never forget you. Never forget exactly. You. I, yeah. I remember when I was uh, 11, I think it was 10 or 11, and the lifeguard said to me at, at this parking side swimming pool where I lived in Essex, he said, you'll never learn to dive, you fat little bastard. Uh, and, never forget uh, it. and guess what? I learned to dive. <laughs> 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 Hi guys, my name's Matt Fendog Fennel. And I don't like bullies. I don't like bullies because what bullies don't realise is the things that they say. Just sit with people for life because anxious relapses, trigger illnesses, both mental and physical. Don't taste someone for their appearance. They're humans too. Hi, my name is Cameron Miller, and I'm the director and founder of the Sean Miller Foundation. I just want to talk a little bit about bullying, because I know a little bit about that subject. I too was a victim of bullying. I was a victim of bullying in my teenage years, and I became a target because of my size, and uh, I was suffering from bad asthma. Not only with bullies, do they affect you mentally, physically, but they also affect your schoolwork. And I don't think anyone has the right to affect your schoolwork. I, I, I like what Jerry said, actually. I think what Jerry, what Jerry said is, is, is spot on. I mean, the parents have got to be held accountable. You know, and if it's a bad household, I mean, that, that's a whole other thing.